thank you. All right, so my name is Rivati Rajan and I'm coming from UCSI University. So he, I'm here to present my research actually uh, regarding how we are converting organic food waste into fingerprint powders. So the major thing is that we have been looking at it since morning. So everyone has highlighted how important fingerprint is in forensic investigation. So one of the major problems that we actually face with fingerprints is that uh, we tend to lose 40 to 50 percent of the fingerprint in the crime scene due to the poor performance of the powder. So uh, I have done previous research actually, and I've studied the uh, particle size and the particle morphology of the existing powder in the market, uh, such as the Sirchi brand. So uh, we, we saw that the particles are highly agglomerated and uh, also the particle size is very large and very bulky. So this could uh, be the very reason why the fingerprints that is formed using these powders, they tend to be uh, not so clear or not so, uh, the minutiae are not so clear. So what we have done here is that we have utilized the eggshells uh, in order for us to produce a calcium carbonate nanoparticle powder with a very simple treatment. We just wash and then we calcine the powder to get a white powder. We managed to obtain two types of powder actually. One is the gray powder, which was converted into magnetic powder. And the other is the calcium nanoparticle powder. So in this research, uh, I'm going to present the calcium nanoparticle powder. So to test the efficiency of this powder, we, we haven't added anything, we did not formulate anything, we use the powder as it is. So uh, we to test the efficiency, we actually tested uh, in two phases. The first phase we tested on multiple surface. We tested on three surface, uh, metal surface, plastic surface, and also a glass surface. And then we also uh, got three different donors, uh, some, somewhat that we, we can classify as strong donors, medium donors, and also weak donors. So we know that the strong donors, usually they have a very um, large amount of residue left on the surface and the medium donors usually have a very good clarity of the fingerprint and weak donors, sometimes they don't have any ridges uh, even after development. So we got these donors and then we tested on these three surfaces and then uh, to find which, are, which is the best surface that uh, this powder works on. And we took that surface and moved into the phase two of the study. So we in this phase two, we tested multiple donors. We took about uh, 75 female and 75 male participants. And then we got a natural fingerprint from them. That means we asked them, asked them to wash their hand, wait for one hour, uh, without using any soap and then wait for one hour, continue with your routine activity and then deposit the finger fingerprint. So once they have deposited the fingerprint, then we divide the fingerprint into two sections and then one section will be developed using the Sirchi powder and the other section was developed using our powder. So that uh, after that, we used the holistic grading scheme. Uh, we just qual qualitatively evaluated the fingerprint, which means we did not go into detail about the minutiae, visibility, and so on. We just uh, look at the overall pattern, whether it's two over third visible or the entire print is visible. And then we graded the fingerprints accordingly. So once we fed the data into the SPSS system, since this was a uh, selected sample size, we did it in the university itself. So we used the Mann-Whitney test to actually differentiate whether there was any statistical difference between these two powders, the Sirchi powder and also the uh, calcium nanoparticle powder. So we managed to find that uh, on the plastic surface, we had a significant difference. The calcium carbonate powder managed to develop the fingerprints much better rather than the Sirchi powder, most probably due to the uh, lower interaction of the calcium carbonate powder on the surface of the plastic the, with the polymers rather than the Sirchi powder, they have added resins. So the resins stick on the plastic surface, making the background interference very high and lowering the clarity of the fingerprint that is developed. So we also characterized the powders. We also characterized the powder uh, to study the morphology, the particle morphology, as well as the um, chemical composition. So we use the scanning electron microscope. The image is over there. And then we managed to see that the particle uh, size was very small. It's about one to two nanometers and it was aggregated into slightly larger uh, particles. And then uh, the uh, chemical composition also confirmed that it was pure calcium carbonate powder. Uh, so uh, 
why we actually choose to do this is basically because uh, we have all the, heard of the sustainable development goal by the United Nations. One of the major things that we are trying to address is we are trying to recycle waste. And we are also trying to reduce and ask people to segregate their waste. So by repurposing this organic waste that usually people throw in the dustbin, making it difficult for the incinerator to burn the plastic material or we want to recycle the plastic. So once we use the food waste, people know that it has value, then it would, uh, at least they would have an incentive to actually segregate their waste rather than throwing it all together and then uh, making it difficult to dispose the plastic waste. So it's kind of like a two in one. One is for the forensic part, as well as we want to see about the sustainable future. So that's all for my side presentation.